Hi, right, how's it going? And uh, and yeah, we got something to talk about. We got some news, and that is that about two hours ago, it was announced that Liverpool and Manchester United are in talks to join um, what is apparently a European Premier League, the closest thing that football's going to have to a European Super League that we've ever seen. Manchester City, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Tottenham are also in talks to join the, the European the European Premier League as it's being called or as it's being touted. Apparently six billion dollars or four point six billion pounds is what's going to be put into this league. More than a dozen teams from Italy, France and Spain as well as England set to have a provisional start of twenty twenty two. FIFA have been involved. There's eighteen teams and the fixtures will be during the, the regular season. Top place teams will then go into a knockout tournament for hundreds of millions of pounds. I don't like the idea of it. To be honest, I think it's a bit it's a bit shallow, it's a bit shit. Football's being lost and the heart the, the heart and soul of the game is just is just being completely wiped away by these these billionaire owners who just wanna Americanize it and it makes sense because two American sets of owners are at the precipice of this for for English football in and that's the the Glazers and and uh, John Henry who uh, predominantly keep having negotiation conversations you know with with the big picture first or the big six talk all that shit and now the European Premier League as well I would literally just prefer to stick to the Premier League and Champions League they have enough prestige already they're competitions that we're already familiar with and trying to introduce something that is just built for the billionaires is it's getting away from the heart and soul of football how can anyone care about a fixture between Liverpool and Burnley or between Manchester United and Newcastle as Rory said on the kickoff who's really going to care about the derbies you know what I mean who's going to really care about Manchester United and Manchester City when they're going and facing Inter Milan or Bayern Munich you know the week after who's going to care about the Champions League when you know is, is this replacing the Champions League is that a thing if it's an addition to the Premier League, then why not just keep the Champions League and raise the prize money or alter the Champions League's way of doing it, the the, the way of, of how you play the games. If you want to make it a league and then a knockout tournament between the Champions League teams, just make it a fucking league. Just, just do it to the Champions League. Why are you creating this whole European Super League or is it to, to get rid of... Because it's UEFA aren't involved, so I'm presuming it's something to do with getting a, getting rid of UEFA and just starting their own thing individually. But then the memories of European title wins and Premier League title wins are all going to be just tarnished. It's all going to be, oh, but you haven't won this this new huge competition that you win millions of pounds for. It's the same It's the same thing with the, the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup in England. No one takes them seriously because they don't... If we're honest, they don't offer the same prize money as winning a Champions League or winning a Premier League. So in the same vein, the Premier League and the Champions League are now not going to be taken seriously because they don't offer you as much money as this new European shithouse league. You know, you have PSG and Manchester United going to play tonight. But is that going to be as big of a game? It's just not going to be a case of, oh shit, this is a special occasion. You know, Liverpool are playing Barcelona or Real Madrid are playing Chelsea or Manchester City are playing Bayern. If if they're doing it every week or two, you know, twice a year anyway. Not to mention the fact as well that they probably will want to make important matches from that league pay-per-view with the way the football's going. It wouldn't surprise me if they turned around and went for the final. You have to pay £15 just to watch it. If it replaces the domestic leagues, then get rid of it now. Get rid of it now because if, if that means that Liverpool, Manchester United, Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea or Tottenham, whoever get in there, have to leave the Premier League, then what would be the point in the Premier League if they left, to be honest? Uh, obviously, unless you support one of the other 13 teams, then you're going to, but it's just... It's not for the betterment of football, but it's for the betterment of billionaire bank balances and football's just getting further and further away from the passion, from the memories, from the special moments, and closer and closer to shares, negotiations, and checkbooks. So, yeah, as a Liverpool supporter, I can safely say that I don't want this shit to happen. I'd say just scrap it all now and just keep the Premier League, keep the Champions League. They're prestigious enough competitions, and we've grown up with, with memories of our teams either playing in those competitions or, or creating special times and, and moments in them. 
and I just think that the history of football would would get lost in it. It would it would go away, and I'm sick of these billionaires trying to play Monopoly with football now. Just keep it the way it is, for fuck's sake. You're already dominating as it is. Why do you need to go and create something else just for your own... I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, those are my views on it. Just quickly, I thought I'd have to say something on it because obviously I'm a football fan. I'm a Liverpool fan, and this is a story that's very central to to both of those things. So, yeah, as always, if you've watched, thank you very much. If I'm not for you, then that's absolutely sound. And last but not least, take care of you and yours. Peace and bless.